So without a doubt, everyone kind of struggles when choosing a car within Greenville, and this is primarily due to just the sheer number of vehicles within Greenville. With the upcoming update, we will have over 2,500 different variations of vehicles to choose from, so I've developed a really cool system to help me choose random cars that I'll be testing out in this video for you guys. Let's hop right in. Alrighty guys, so for this video, you guys are probably wondering, Bulber, what is this crazy revelation of like a idea to choose random cars? Let's walk right through it. So, we will choose the number between 1 and 50,000. Google will decide this for us. Random number generator. Then we have a bunch of wheels. We will spin for what game passes we can use. We will spin for what type of vehicle we will buy. Either that's like an SUV, hatchback, or sedan. We will spin for the model within our budget and within the category. Then we will spin for the specific model of the car from the brand. Then when we choose the model, we will spin for the trim. And then after we spin for the trim, we will spin for the color of the vehicle. And yeah, let's hop right into it and see it in action. And if you guys want a part two, let me know down below. We can always make changes to this if you guys want this to be a series. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So first off, let's start off with our random budget. So here we have the minimum $1 and the maximum five, 500, no, $50,000. If we got something way too low, like, you know what? Let's make our, let's start off 2,500. I feel like that's a okay amount to start off from. And whatever this number is, is what our first budget for our first vehicle will be. Let's generate, what are we going to get? $44,969. So you can get something pretty decent. Let's get on with this. And it looks like we'll be getting no game pass, which is absolutely fine because the game has a ton load of cars for no game pass at all. So yeah, let's hop on to our next wheel. Alrighty, so it looks like our car will be a hatchback. Okay, so just a recap of what happened. So our budget is $44,969. We cannot use a game pass and we have to choose a hatchback. So let's find a hatchback that has no game pass. Not, no, that's not fine hatchback. Let's find the cap for the most expensive thing. So we're going to just quickly sort this from low to high. And we're going to see what is the most expensive car we can get. Then I'm going to add in all the brands to our random wheel. And yeah, so here, the most expensive thing will be this BMW right here. So I'm going to have to go in and add all of these brands. And then we will narrow down our search. Looks like, ooh, Chrysler. Okay. So this is going to narrow down our search by quite a bit. Let's go see what Chrysler cars we can choose from. All right. Well, these are the models we can choose them. Choose from. We can have a three-door PT Cruiser, a five-door PT Cruiser, or a cargo van PT Cruiser. Um, we're going to go spin our wheel and see what model we get. Getting the... Ooh, that's close. But the three-door PT Cruiser. Let's go spin for the trim. All right. So this is the three-door PT Cruiser. We have the base, a GT Turbo, Limited Turbo, Touring, GT Turbo RS, and yeah, we're going to spin between those trims and then that'll decide which trim we get. Hopefully we get something decent. Looks like we'll be getting the Touring trim. Alrighty. Yeah, so we'll be going with the Touring trim. Alrighty guys, so here's the Touring trim. It's going to cost us $5,000. Now I'm going to have to put in all of these names for these colors. And we'll spin and see what color we get. And it looks like we'll be getting Steel Blue. Alrighty. Now let's go buy our car and put on Steel Blue and see how it does on the road. Alrighty guys, so just a re quick recap, our ultimate budget was $44,969, we did spin for a no game pass vehicle, we did spin for a hatchback, then we spin for a Chrysler vehicle, then we spin for the 3 door Chrysler PT Cruiser, then we spin for the Touring Trim, and then we spin for this magnificent Steel Blue. Let's go see how the car does on the road, and I'll give my thoughts on it. Now, I'll just be honest, I would never be the type of person to get a 3 door PT Cruiser, so this kind of like really, I guess, goes to show like the type of you know the type of like series i want this to be where i step up my comfort zone like use random cars i guess and hopefully you guys try this out for yourself um i i, I will leave the random wheel thing linked down below and for the random number generator you can just google google random number generator and you can put in your budget between numbers so yeah very easy but yeah here let's get a let's just take this thing on the road just like for we're not gonna like push it to its limits but i'm gonna take it for a little drive give it my thoughts the only thing that really confuses me is what is going off that roof like i don't know why there's only like one bar thing very interesting weird the car has like actually nice blinkers um headlights are also pretty nice as well the weird rims are interesting but like all around the car is like not bad at all actually i think this is worth five thousand dollars just from driving it because the detail is pretty good has an okay horn obviously it's a pt cruiser so not the nicest looking car and the top speed is 118 miles per hour and that has actually very good braking so all right i mean like this car is actually pretty good um let's see how let's see how like the turning radius of this i guess and okay this thing actually has like a good turning okay this thing actually handles well this is actually like a good car not my type of car aesthetics wise but for the budget 
or like price you're paying this thing's actually worth it in my opinion let's hop on to our next card right, guys it's time for round two let's go spin for our first few options Alrighty, so let's recalculate a new number here's our old number right here let's generate and our budget is thirty two thousand four hundred eighteen dollars now let's go spin for what type of vehicle we will be shopping for so it looks like we will be getting a wagon or actually, oh no, that that was very close. We will be shopping for a sedan, actually. Okay, right, so just to recap, our budget is thirty-two thousand four hundred eighteen dollars. We cannot use a game pass, and we have to shop for a sedan. So, what is the most expensive sedan we can go for? So, thirty-two thousand four hundred eighteen. Let's see where this goes up to thirty-two thousand. Let's see, and it ends right at here at this Chrysler three hundred. Looks like we will be stuck with a Bronson. Okay, so let's go see what Bronson vehicles are within our like budget and sedan category. Alright, guys, these are the three cars we have to choose between. Well, not really choose. The wheel's gonna pick for us, but let me go import these into our wheel. And yeah, kind of anxious. I'm not gonna lie. I am slightly anxious. Alrighty, looks like we will be getting the 2016 Bronson Noble Sedan. Let's go spin and see what trims. Every trim is luxury besides base. So we will be stuck with the base. So we only have to spin for what color. So hopefully we get something kind of cool. And it looks like we'll be getting, oh, that's very close. Smoky gray metallic already. Uh, let's go buy our car and spawn it in. Alrighty guys, so just a quick recap. Our budget was $32,418. And no game pass was selected and we had to choose a sedan then we had to go for the bronson brand then we had to choose this beautiful 2016 bronson noble sedan then we got the then we could not actually yeah we could not choose a trim we got stuck for the vase trim because the other trims are all luxury based and then we got the smoky gray metallic paint job Let, let's hop in this car and see how it does Alrighty. so this car I, i've actually had it a few times but i've never actually used the base model so i guess like this is my first time ever using the base model i was going for like the more expensive trims but this car is actually pretty underrated. It has pretty nice, very, very nice blinkers and everything. I love how, like, they have it on the mirrors. Pretty cool headlights as well. And, like, this car is underrated, in my opinion. And I know it's, like, some rebadged European or, like, Australian car. But, yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, like, it looks decent. It is kind of, like, a longer car. Here's the horn. This car does not have a working horn. Well, for any smaller YouTubers that want to know a bug, here you go. This car does not have a working horn. Here, let's get this thing up to speed. I mean, like, it... I think it looks a tiny bit nicer than a base model. It's definitely not like a top of the end model though. Oh my, I almost crashed here. Okay, so let's see what this thing can get up to though. But yeah, all around the detail in this car is actually pretty nice. So the top speed looks like it will be 133 miles per hour, which is pretty decent. And yeah, let's do a quick brake test. Not the best brakes, but it, I mean, like, they are decently smooth. And I just got disconnected. Let's rejoin and do our final car. All right, guys, we are going to do our final car. And let's open something kind of cool. Because our first two cars, I mean, like, they, they were good. Don't get me wrong. But I want something that kind of, like, out there, I guess. Anyways, let's go see what we get. All right, we are back. Let's spin and see what our budget's going to be. $17,599. So this is going to probably be one of our cheaper cars. Let's go spin our other things. Alrighty, we are spinning and let's see. It looks like we got the sports game pass. So our first car that can be game pass. It does not mean that we have to use the game pass, but we have an option to gain a sports vehicle. Alrighty, we are now spinning to see what type of car we can get. I'm hoping for a coupe. Hopefully we do get that. Ooh, oh, oh, oh I, the wheel just knows, man. The wheel knows. So yeah, okay, we're gonna be going with the coupe. Alright guys, so just a quick recap. Our budget is $17,599. We can use cars from the sports game pass. And we have to go for a coupe. Alrighty, we are now spinning for our brand. Let's see what we can get here. And it looks like we will be getting a Takio. So a um a Acura. Okay. Let's go see what we can get. Alrighty, so under coupes and Takio, there's only two cars. Unfortunately, this car is out of our budget, so we will be stuck with this car. So we do not have to spin for the car itself. And it looks like we will be getting the type R trim. Alrighty, alrighty, it looks like we'll get the clover green pearl. Let's go see how it looks on the car and let's go buy it. Alrighty guys, so another quick recap. Our budget was $17,599. We had to choose a car from either No Game Pass or Sports. We had to choose a coupe. We had to use the Takio brand. And then we got the Type R trim, which I'm going through my wheels right now and it's re-congratulating me for some reason. And then we got the Clover Green Pearl paint. And yeah, let's go take this car for a drive. But I won't lie, this car actually looks pretty nice in the green pearl. I've never seen this car in this color. But yeah, let's go take it for a drive and I'll get my thoughts on it. Oh, this thing sounds sick. And it does spit flames. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Ooh, I already like this car the most out of all the cars we've done so far. This thing's sick, actually. Okay, let's take this thing on the road. This is a car from the initial revamp, so the handling's not the best. It does not have the most updated like lights or anything. But hey, it's a good car. And it does have a working horn, but a very annoying horn at that. 
Let's see, let's see if we can get the car up to, though. And, yeah, this is the Type R trim, so it is the bit more sporty trim, I suppose. But here, let's see. So, what can speed can we get this thing up to? 154, 155 miles per hour. Let's do a quick brake test. Very, very smooth and pretty decently quick braking. Yeah, this car's actually pretty good. I, 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 I'm probably going to keep this car, actually. I might customize the rims or something. But this car's actually pretty sick. And out of all the cars we've tested, probably my favorite one so far. But yeah, let's hop on to our outro. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you guys want a part two, we, let me know what you want to see in part two. Do we want Do we want to see me do more cars? Do we want to see me increase the budget? Do you want to see me, like, specifically focus... Actually, one thing I will probably do if we end up doing a part two. If this video does well, I will do a part two. But one thing I would want to do in part two is make it so, let's say on the first car, we got like an SUV and we got this like game pass. Let's say on our second car, we we remove SUV and remove that game pass from the wheel. We just make every car very, very different because I feel like that would diversify the cars we get more. But yeah, anyways, you guys, again, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time. And again, let me know what you think of this down below in the comments. Bye everyone.